the unmistakable sound of mariachis. To many, it's the quintessential embodiment of Mexican machismo. But these days, female mariachis are trying to make their voices heard too. Isabel comes from a family of mariachis, but even she found it hard to be taken seriously in the profession. It was a bit difficult at the start. Today it's easier. People are getting used to it, little by little. But there are many of us in Mexico. It's a silent fight. We are here, we play, and we play well. Today it's not so rare to see women singing in Garibaldi Square in Mexico City, the very heart of the country's mariachi tradition. But that wasn't the case 50 years ago when Lupita Villa and her women-only band Las Coronelas, or the Lady Colonels, were pioneers in the mariachi world. Musically, it's the same thing, same thing as for men. Back then, when I would play, we were the only band. We were applauded and congratulated because we were women. One way to fight gender discrimination is to make sure female mariachis sing and play just as well, if not better, than their male counterparts. They can now attend a special mariachi training school which opened in the capital last year. So far, however, only a small number of the students who have enrolled are women. Natalia Pianzola, BBC News.